that's just a solid, good physical run there as he motors for nine yards. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. here. second and a yard from the 34. Second and a yard. Bridgewater, a play fake to McCaffrey. He'll look to throw. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. Marching in for the sack, Matthew Judon. Well, partner, we know they came out of the locker room down on the scoreboard. But I will guarantee you, the defensive side of the ball got super emotional. They can come out and play with aggressiveness, with fury, because they don't have to be quite as precise. And it paid off for them on that play, didn't it? Sure did. Excellent play. Really setting the tone for this third quarter. Bridgewater from the gun on third down. Oh, he'll take it. Got his man complete. 20, 10, touchdown, Carolina. Bridgewater's pass. Christian McCaffrey, 74 yards. And the Panthers are able to grow their lead. This offense, they were dynamic in the first half. The halftime break, that didn't slow them down at all. Big strike here in the third quarter. It's almost as if they were saying, it's not just our skill in the first half is getting this done, it's confidence as well. And confidence has taken over this game in a big way. How about these strikes that we're seeing? And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Ravens take over first and 10. At the, the Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. They did what they had to do to start this third quarter, went down, got the touchdown to cut the lead, but the matching touchdown a moment ago, and we're right back where we start. It's caught inside the 25, and he is into the end zone for a Baltimore touchdown. Hollywood, Marquise Brown, 76 yards, and the Ravens draw a bit closer. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers, that meant fly route, go, uh-oh, look out. That was the nine, and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. And this one will not be handled. It's into the end zone for a touchback. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. He was now, Brandon, that's the way you want to run the football. There should almost be quote bubbles above the offense right now. Bam, boom, biff. That's how they feel good about moving the football. They'll come up now, second and four from the 31. Again, they run again, it's McCaffrey. And he'll scratch out only about a yard up to the 32. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again, go play action, hit them over the top. And on third and three, they decided to go with a dime package. Yeah. Six DBs. Yeah, you're right, they've got six out there. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. The offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They're indeed going for it. Bridgewater. Now this is incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it. Doesn't pan out. And the Ravens get the football back and in great shape. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Operating from the gun. Jackson, flush to his right. 
His throw incomplete. And on the keeper. Well, defensively, you're over there trying to catch your breath and try not to show the offense that you're a little bit fatigued. You're right back out there after the turnover. Now they've got to work towards getting another couple of stops and forcing them into at least a long field goal situation. Well, we're in Baltimore. Third quarter action, second and ten. And he's going to get this pretty close to a first down. Stopped at the Panthers 24. So that'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. That's a gain of eight. Brings up third and two. Third and two. Here's Jackson. And he's got his man, Marquise Brown. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. A looming decision to make on the conversion down seven, but first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. And he's gonna go down, sacked right around the 17. Brian Burns picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Second and goal at the 17 yard line. To try again after the sack. Jackson buying time to his left. And he will score. Touchdown, Baltimore. From 17 yards out. And the Ravens are an extra point away from tying the football game. Lining up for the extra point. The quarterback run has eaten him up all game long. And there he goes again, this time into the end zone. And what I like about what I'm seeing, absolutely running almost with impunity. He's not worried about his body. He's not worried about sliding. He's not worried about protecting himself. He's worried about getting yardage. If you're on the defensive side of the ball, you've got to start figuring out what these blocking schemes are and finding ways to defeat him. So right back to square one, tied at 28 as he kicks it away. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. At their own 23-yard line. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news... Plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. Second and nine, Bridgewater. That'll be taken in by Anderson. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me. I'm going to keep firing. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. Well, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. Just a one-yard pick up there, and it'll be fourth down. Now fourth down. thing on fourth down. Tried the hard count, but to no avail. 
trying to do anything to get them to jump off sides and pick up a first down easily. Instead, it goes against them. And no move to get the offense off the field. Despite failing once, they're going to go again here on fourth down. Throwing Bridgewater. Open man is Anderson. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. That one good for 17 yards on fourth. Couldn't ask for much more from your offense there. First down. They'll give it up to McCaffrey. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Back-to-back -back nice plays. 12 yards that time and a first down. Another carry for their leader and a good one. It's crunch time. They'll need him to continue to be productive in both the run and passing game in order for them to try and snatch a victory. On first and 10, Bridgewater escaping the pressure right. Oh, incomplete. The rookie had it and lost it there. And it'll be second down. For DJ Moore. Whenever you see a quarterback break contained, just think to yourself, the receivers on that side of the field, their number one job, make sure they get in his sight line so he can try and find someone downfield. Guys on the backside, make sure you don't give up the deep ball. They tried it there. They weren't able to connect. It'll go as a loss of a yard, so now they deal with third and 11. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Panther football as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On third down, Bridgewater. And that is incomplete. A couple extra defensive backs out there in the dime. And because of that, really not many places to throw the football, if any. And typically, what would you want to do against that dime? Run the football. You want to run the ball, but you can't do it in this situation. Not nearly enough time on the clock. You have to really navigate against a tough defense presented against you. Now, well, let's see. Yeah, the offense still out there. They elect to go on fourth and 11. Bridgewater to throw. Taking a shot for... And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. Touchdown, Carolina. Touchdown. Curtis Samuel, 44 yards. And the Panthers have broken our tie as they take the lead. They do tack on the extra point as well. And they will take a seven-point lead. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. Taken about seven yards deep. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Take over first and 10 at their own 18-yard line. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offense that's humming. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense getting the ball back pretty quickly. Right? He's got a man complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 36 yards on the play. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. I see you nodding your head up and down. It's a very heady decision at this stage of the game. Out of the pocket, nowhere to go. Just get rid of it. That's a smart play because you're not worried about your completion percentage, and you're also not trying to force it into bad traffic as well. Throw the ball away, live to fight another down. 